welcome guys to my channel um this video today is going to be about sublimation today we're going to be going over sublimation on a t-shirt so since christmas is right around the corner we're going to do something christmasy if you guys want to see how i made this shirt Tell me this isn't cute. Polyester is the best to sublimate on because cotton is not really good. So if you try to use cotton, cotton will not sublimate as well. Now, if you have a mix that's like um, cotton and polyester, long as a polyester count is higher than the cotton. So maybe you have a polyester shirt that's 65% polyester and then like, 35% cotton that works just as well because you know um, I think the lowest you should do is least I would say 60 to 65% polyester just so you can get you know really vibrant colors like this so if you guys want to see how I've created this shirt stay tuned and head on on with me over to the computer. I'm going to come to my web browser and I'm going to come to Creative Fabrica. Um, I use this to get a lot of my different um, images. They have packages of and bundles and I mean they have everything you can really think of and the good thing about it if you use Creative Fabrica and you get like the all access which they kind of have in the sale right now if you get that one you um, will have access to everything. Let me scroll down, like all the fonts, all the graphics, um, you even, hold on, I'm gonna show you guys in a second. You even will get the commercial license if you wanna, if you wanna like um, make stuff and be able to sell it, you know, like shirts, tumblers or anything like that. It will come with a commercial license so you will be able to use the image in something you want to create or sell to somebody. So we're just gonna type in Christmas and I'm gonna do PNG because I do want my image to be a P PMG. Okay, so here they have so many different options, you guys. Okay, so here is a cute one. Let's click on this one. Okay, so here is what your image will be. And when you do get this image, it will be just like a blank background you won't see like all these different little you know these little lines that's in the back of the picture anyways um it shows you how the picture would look if you would do like a sweatshirt if you would put the image on a mug um they even have pillowcase and you know how it would look if you was to put it on a t-shirt so before you download the image, you usually be able to see like all the whatever you basically want to use your image for. They'll usually give you an example of what it would kind of look like if you was to put it on something. So, oh, and this is what I mean, you guys. Like it includes the commercial license, and you know that's just like I said. If you guys want to use it to like sell an image because you can't just go and steal someone's image and then you know sell it and because you could get in trouble but yeah they does come with a commercial license if you do want to sell something with any one of these images so I do already have mine downloaded because I was searching earlier so I do already have one uh, mine's downloaded already so what I'm gonna do is go to my files there you have your image and this is how it would actually look but it would just it has no background it's just the image 
Okay, so long, once we know that our image downloaded good and all that good stuff, we can go over here to, I'm gonna click on it and I'm going to edit it because we have to mirror our image. Okay, so I'm gonna save that since it's already mirrored, we don't have to do anything to it. I'm going to go down and I'm going to go to print. Okay, so I'm using the Epson 2800 series and I want to print this in landscape mode since it is like a wider image. Uh, I'm gonna change my paper size to this one. I'm gonna put it to where it fits. Cause you see how this is cut off? I'm gonna change it to where it fits. Okay, so you see how now it's all in the image. Now what I'm gonna do is go into more settings and I'm going to change my paper type to the premium presentation paper mat. I want to change my color to high because I want it to come out really vibrant. And then I'm going to push OK. OK. So now we are ready to print. OK, guys. So we're at the printer. OK. So, yes. This is the paper that I am using. It's the A sub and it is the 125, 8.5 by 11. Okay. And it just looks like a standard piece of paper. A sub on the back. We're going to load our printer. Okay. And we're just gonna get ready and print this image, guys. Okay, guys, our image is printed. Okay. So it's time to head on over to our heat press. See you guys there. Okay, so now we're I'm gonna be using um my Cricut Easy Press, and this is the I think this is the I think the eight by eight. I'm thinking so. This it's the smaller one. Um so I'm just gonna turn it on and I'm gonna um, wait to that heat up. Okay, so we're gonna be just using this, just a plain little white shirt. And it is, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is 100% polyester. You're gonna make sure you have one of these handy because you don't want any lint or anything inside of, um, on your shirt when you press it because it will leave um, speck marks on your shirt if you do, if you don't use your lint roller. And I'm just going to lay my shirt out. And you do want to put something between your shirt so um, your ink doesn't leak onto your bleed through the other side. So I'm just using like these little pieces of cardboard. They're pretty flat so. Okay. 
I'm kind of going to turn this board around because it is like had some spaces and I don't want any anything to leak through the other side. So all I did was just turn the board sideways, like kind of like landscape mode. Okay. Okay. And I am going to press it to get these wrinkles out because you do want to make sure um, your area is nice and flat and wrinkle free when you um, when you go to lay down for um, your press. OK, so my press did just beep, letting me know that um, it's to the right temperature. So what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to. Um, oh, and I do want to let you know, guys, know that you do need to let your image dry, like let it sit for a little bit so it can dry um, before you want to um, press it into your shirt. I'm just going to take a piece of parchment paper, parchment paper, paper, butcher paper, either one is, it works just fine. Okay. I'm not going to set a timer. I'm just going to kind of kind of iron it out because I just want like the wrinkles to be gone. So I'm going to lay the image yet. Okay, so now your area is is prepped and ready to go. And I'm gonna just lay my image. Like, make sure my board is on there. And you will need some heat tape, just so when you press it, your image doesn't move. I'm just using a standard little heat tape. Okay, you guys. Get some scissors real fast. Okay, just gonna cut a piece. Kinda just put it up here. And I'm just gonna put another piece at the bottom. Okay. So now we're gonna get our um, our piece of butcher paper again. Well, piece of parchment paper, and we are just going to cover the image. Okay, and I have my heat press set to, um, as you can, I don't know if you guys can see, but I have it set to um, 385 for 50 seconds. Okay, guys, now we're going to, okay, we're going to start the timer. And you don't have to slide it, just firm pressure until your timer runs out. Okay. So, ooh, guys, that looks... Okay, so when you, if you know your press came out really good before you actually peel it, you would be able to see... I don't know if you guys can see it. You see how it looks so much more vibrant through the paper now. So that's how you know you have a good ink release. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna wait till that cools just for a second. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna peel it. And we're gonna see what we have, guys. Okay. 
we're just gonna peel it. Oh my God, guys, look at that. That came out perfect. Do you see that? Do y'all see the, let me get y'all a little bit closer so y'all can um see um the color. Just, so look at that. Do you guys see that? Do y'all see how vibrant that came out? And I probably could have get a little bit of more of the ink off of here because you still can see the image really good. But look at that. That came out perfect, y'all. That came out perfect. And I am using, um, um, I'm using for my sublimation ink, I am using um, Printer's Jack. Yeah, y'all, look at that. I'm just going to remove the board. Okay. And show you guys. Look at that. That is beautiful, y'all. That is that that came out so cute. That really came out so cute. Just the girl who loves Christmas. Come on now. And you guys could wear these for Christmas. Even if you want to do some for Halloween. Um, just any of the holidays. That came out good, you guys. Okay, guys. That's all we have for today. So, if you like that video, like comment, subscribe, and even hit the notification button because I will be uploading lots more new videos. We're going to be doing um, craft projects. We're going to be doing like maybe some magnets, some lights, some socks. We're going to be doing all kinds of stuff. Hope you guys be safe. Love you guys. Um, see you in my next video. Bye.